Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Tonight, I wanted to show off this. This is the Chins 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. It is 1280 watt hours of storable energy. And it's a deep cycle battery. If you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you know that we are working to go farther and farther off the grid. My goal before I hit retirement, which is not many years away because I'm retiring long before the 62 mark, <laughs> is that I want to be 100% off grid. We get our water from a spring. If we can get our power from a battery bank and solar, then I am well on my way to being able to afford to retire early. To do that, I need stuff like this. This is the modern solution to solar storage. In the old days, we used deep cell batteries that were lead acid or um, AGM, glass mat batteries. Those batteries were roughly the same size as the battery you see right here. And they would also be a 100 amp hour, but, and this is the big but, you can't discharge a lead acid or AGM battery much past 50% without starting to degrade the battery itself. That means that if you were to run it down to say 20% charge, when it came back, 99 or 98 or 97 percent would be your new 100. Do this a bunch of times. Cycle your batteries hard and low a bunch of times, and in no time, and I'm talking a year, you can kill a, a lead acid or AGM battery. The biggest selling point of this type of battery right here is that that doesn't happen. So not just for solar use, but for trolling motors, for RVs, for campers, for any kind of backup uh, generation of energy you can think of, a lithium battery is going to be the superior product. When it says 100 amp hours, it literally means 100 amp hours in a battery like this because I can run this down to dead. I can run all 100 amp hours out of this battery and it won't damage the battery to do so. So for every two lead acid batteries that are 100 amp hour would equal this. Even though you're technically got 200 amp hours worth of 12 volt batteries, if you buy two lead acid 100 amp hour batteries, because you can only discharge them 50%, well, you're only using the equivalent storage as one lithium ion battery. You start doing the math, the cost of this battery versus the cost of two of your conventional batteries, and you start getting really close in the price range of what one of these costs. Then <laughs> you take the cost of two lead acid batteries and that you have to replace them at least twice for the amount of time that this one will last because this lasts many thousands of charges and discharges where the average lifespan of a deep cell battery is two to five years. Five years is pretty, pretty out there. It's pretty, you're getting lucky if you get five years out of a set of, of lead acid batteries, especially if you're using it for trolling motors or campers. This should last a good 10 years. You're talking five to 6,000 minimum charge and discharge rates. So then you start taking those numbers and this actually comes out to be the cheaper deal in the long run. But it's tough. I'm poor. I get it. It's hard to rationalize buying something that costs more up front but if you do the math and if you really think it out, this is the better bet. And that's why I've started using this in pretty much all of the storage unis, uses that I have around here. I've now got two solar setups. We have one that runs all of our off-grid radio gear. So I have an off-grid radio station, off-grid communication setup that uses, uh, this will be the second battery that goes into that. And so I'll have 200 amp hours at 12 volts. It has 400 watts of solar coming into it and a charge controller. And that charge controller for that is really simplistic. It's this right here. Um, I actually have four or five of these that I keep in a, a, a Faraday cage as a backup. But these are on eBay uh, for like $8. I mean, they're very inexpensive. Not rated for a ton of incoming juice, but as I said, 400 watts in, feeding 200 amp hours worth of batteries. And uh, like you could see, it has USB charging. So for walkie talkies or whatever, you can charge directly off of it. You can charge your cell phone. And that's super simple, super simple. And of course you could always run 12 volt appliances directly off of that as well. And then solar paneling, I have this here just to show you. This is a 30 watt panel that I picked up. This is actually for a project that I'm doing elsewhere on the property, but I have four 100 watt panels I got from HSQT. 
great stuff, but you can get any brand. You can get flexible panels for your RV. You can get whatever you need and, and you'll have yourself a beautiful little setup. These also make great trolling boat motors or, or batteries because again, a lead acid battery is going to weigh about two times, sometimes three times as much as this for the same amount of storage capacity or in many cases, like my boat, we only have one battery on board. So I can run that battery, say, two hours at full speed on a trolling motor. This one, being that I can safely run it all the way down to zero, I can run it for four hours. So it's a ton more storage, a ton more energy, a ton more, like think of it as a gas tank. I've got two times the size of the gas tank now, and it weighs less. Right? This only weighs like, I think, 30 or 40 pounds, where a, a lead acid battery about the same size, same amp hour, it's probably 120, 130 pounds. So like I said, two to three times lighter. So that's really awesome. I'll go ahead and show you the rest of this. I'm so happy these people decided they wanted to work with me. Uh, money is tight. Uh, if you've been following the channel, you know that I've had some medical stuff going on. So it's awesome that I can upgrade these systems with stuff like this and, uh, and get to share them with you. And hopefully you can get a deal on stuff like this too. Chins is the brand. Um, Lithium iron phosphate battery, I think is what it's considered. LAF12100 is the model number. Of course, it's made in China, uh, and uh, they do have their website there, chins.shopping, www.chins.shopping. And uh, there it is. It does have some warnings. It'll uh, explode, of course, if it's in fire. If you short it out, you you got a lot of amperage there. You're going to hurt yourself. You've got uh, don't want to reverse the polarity. Don't take it apart. Don't throw it into a fire or incinerate. And do not heat above 60 degrees Celsius. I can't remember the conversion to Fahrenheit, but that's probably well over 100 degrees. So you probably shouldn't be doing that anyway. On the top here, it does have a nice carry handle. And then the tabs are clearly marked negative and positive, but they also have these blue color coding. You pull off these safety caps here. And we do have two terminals, screw in terminals. So it's really easy to hook these up. Now you can hook this up in series and end up with 24, 36, 48 volts at 100 amps. You can do that up to four batteries. Or you can put it in parallel and run 200 amp hours at 12 volts, which is what I'm going to be doing with this one for the system that I have running the radio gear, running the radio station, running all the communication equipment I have in that smaller building. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it at a 12 volt system just because all the radio gear operates at 12. It's better to operate it at 12. That way I can bypass any inverters and just go straight off of solar to charging this from this to my equipment. Really convenient. In the summertime, I'll take one of these out of the loop, throw it in the boat, head out to the lake and putter around with a trolling motor and I'll have done so for free. I don't have to put $5 worth of gas in every time I go anywhere to run a little two horsepower, you know, trolling motor that's gas. I can use the, I think it's 42 pounds of thrust my electric motor has. I can hook it to this. And when I run it down and head home, I hook this back into the solar array and it charges for free. So I've cost myself nothing. I'm not an environmentalist, but I do like being efficient. And that means saving money anywhere I can. And if you do the math, batteries like this Chin's 100 amp hour battery are the better deal. I'll leave a link where you can pick this up, and thanks to Chins for sending this my way to check out. Till next time, my friends, take care.